Hold on, hold on, here I come. Hold on, 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 hold on. Okay, so real quick, I'm tired of getting made fun of for the backgrounds in my videos. Not by you, you guys are super nice. Mainly by my wife. So we're fixing that. Still not the best audio, but we're fixing the backgrounds. Today, I'm gonna show you how to turn this into th this, this, why don't you, this, why don't you work this into this. Into, into this, <sighs> into this. It's better, right? That's right. Cue the intro. Woo! I'm like a poor man, Peter McKinnon, at best. Since I only have a minute, First of all, we need to get a new memory card for this camera because I only have a minute worth of time left. Shit. What's up, brown coats? I'm Brendan Hufford. If you're new here, I'm just a regular guy. I've sold two online businesses. I quit my teaching job to pursue a full-time career in online marketing and helping clients get more leads, sales, and conversions from SEO. And sometimes, like in this case, I make videos about making videos. In this video, you'll learn how I made this behind me, plus, I'll do a breakdown of other creators' backgrounds, as well as my evolution. I'll share at least two creators, definitely one, maybe two creators, YouTube creators that you've never seen before, and I'll also break down their video background. And when I'm talking about backgrounds, I'm not talking about like inspiring views and mountains and traveling. You're like, Brendan, I can't replicate this. I can't do this. Look, I just made this from stuff laying around my house. I think I went out and bought a couple lights. It's less than $20. It doesn't have to be that fancy. It's a fake Ikea plant right there. I don't know. And the four hour work week, because of course. So I'm a student of the game. I fucking love YouTube. Why am I yelling? I, I don't know. Anyways, I noticed that all my favorite creators had the coolest backgrounds. Not like inspiring mountains or anything like scenic and majestic, whatever. Just like interesting stuff like behind their head when they were just talking to the camera. And I want to inspire you to be able to do the same, to make the same for your videos and also, I want to break down the top creators' videos so we can aspire to be maybe more like them. If there's something in their video, you're like, oh, that's cool. I want something like that. So before we get to my breakdown and like how I put this together on absolutely zero budget, I want to break down these top YouTube creators. Since you're still watching, make sure you subscribe. Give it a thumbs up if this has been even helpful so far. Let's get into it. Oh, and I guess we should mention that I, this was clearly filmed later when I'm done and back when I did it I had a beard and not this crazy silly mustache so maybe that will matter too I don't know either way we're gonna have fun so the first creator I want to do a breakdown of is Roberto Blake what I love about Roberto is in his backgrounds there's always something like very on brand it's very Star Wars it's very nerdy so even look as he changes here goes into this new background you can see like it's still Star Wars he's very on brand he has the little group well you can see in the background it's very evident like I'm a video creator I got Gary Vaynerchuk's book here but it's in focus so you can see it it's not blurred out it's not supposed to be like very bokeh and blurry in the background. So you can see here, even Roberto changes it up sometimes. Here he's filming, you know, inside of a room. I don't know if this is like his, a hotel room or whatever, but you can see he's taking advantage of the window light. He's not using his regular setup. The background is very neutral. He doesn't have all of his usual stuff back there. I know in his other videos, he'll have books and things. What I love about the background for Roberto is it's very often on brand. I think it's cool that he's moving maybe away a little bit from what he's done in the past with regards to the background. Up next, somebody who I've always loved the backgrounds of, Casey Neistat. So Casey's studio, and what I love about him is his studio is like a character in all of his films, whether he's talking to the camera or anything else like that. The studio is a character, it's alive. It has parts, it has a voice, it has all of these different things. He uses the background of his studio to tell a story similarly to how I wanna tell a story with the backgrounds in my videos. Now we can't all expect to have a background like this. I know him and his assistants have probably spent hundreds if not a thousand hours on this, but everything tells a story. The outline of the tools, everything in its place, like the level of organization and thoughtfulness in the design really tells you a lot about the creator. But similarly, the goal with my background, again, is to have some sort of character, to have something else to interact with, something else that tells a story about me more than just what I'm saying into the camera. Up next, our third creator that we're gonna take a look at is Zach Ramlin. 
Now, I'm not really sure if it's you say Zach's last name, Ramlin or Ramalan. I've heard one person call him Ramlin. I've always in my head read it as Ramalan. I don't know. Zach, I'm super sorry. You make some of the dopest shit ever, and I absolutely love what you do. So let's take a look at Zach's background. Sometimes you'll see Zach is able to use really good, effective window light to get a really cool effect. Uh, he also does a really interesting, like, blurred background. His depth of field is really shallow. Uh, maybe thin is the wrong word because I don't really know what I'm talking about. But it's interesting as he moves forward in a way, like, he doesn't have a lot of movement in his videos because typically, like, things go out of focus really, really fast. Zach wants himself in focus and everything else to have that sort of bokeh, that blur effect. What I love is when Zach does interior shots, when he does a talking into the camera video, something inside, he does really cool stuff with light, whether it's just these lamps in the background that you saw a second ago, or even just putting a light box on the ground here in the background, that little thing on the ground is literally a light box plugged into the wall with a sweatshirt or something thrown over it. And then he kind of changes that up from time to time. So you still see he's using that under lighting, the whole background is kind of blurred out, but again, this tells a story, like those are his photos on the wall. Everything there is extremely thought, like he's extremely thoughtful in his backgrounds. Up next, the vaunted, is that the, I don't even know if that's the right word, the vaunted Peter McKinnon. I love Peter McKinnon, he's so fun. What I love most about Peter is he actually talks about his backgrounds and he teaches about it, kind of like what I'm trying to put together here. If you check the description below, there's a playlist of all of the videos you're seeing here in full form so you can watch them all in a row and get a lot of good ideas. What I love about Peter is the use of lights. So whereas you saw Zach would use like a big light box and these really cool big blurs, Peter uses really small light bulbs. Um, almost like these edit really cool, maybe they're LED, like Edison style bulbs to get really interesting effects in the background. He's also using here a computer monitor that I think is really helpful. It gives you, again, a cool effect. It also kind of tells that story of like, I am. this is what I edit my videos on. This is where I work, things like that. Then as he's moved into his new studio, you can see he's done some really interesting things with just like the neon sign in the background, the, like all of the different parts, everything's super thoughtful. And everything in the background, whether you can see it or not, we can really only see the neon sign, but there's so much in his background that is there that tells a story about him, the lightsaber, the coffee, the walking dead figurine, like it's just, it all tells you more about him. Up next, I want to share with you a creator you probably have never heard of because he doesn't focus on video and teaching about video and photography. So this, my friends, is Dave Chesson. What's really cool here is that we're gonna trace through a progression of his videos. So you can see like he had originally this really like, good background. Then he gets a little bit better. So things are a little more blurred out, but now the logo is lit up so you can see it, but it looks a little awkward, still using the blue light behind the shelves. Now this is the best version. You can see everything is framed incredibly well. He's really in focus. The blue light has kind of really, you know, everything looks blue in the room. He's lost that kind of yellow glow that he had earlier. I think this is some of Dave's best work, but what's really cool is you can trace through one, two, three. You can see the different progression through Dave's videos, and this is what you should have in your videos as well, and probably what I'll have in mine. All right, so step one, get the books where I want them. I think I'm going to take most of the books off. Okay. Um, and then get lights. I think we have enough plugs and outlets back there. Is there anything else from those videos that you saw that you're like, oh, we definitely need that or like think about that? No. But here's the thing is like, this is all you're gonna be able to see in the background. I use a 35 millimeter lens and like it doesn't have a super wide angle to it. I also notice I still look at the view off to the side, but it doesn't have a super wide shot. So we're not gonna be able to get a ton of these bookshelves into the bathroom. You can see the difference as I switch between, you know, my iPhone and this, like what the difference is just in perspective. Like you can literally see the difference between these two shots of camera, iPhone, camera, iPhone, camera, iPhone, camera. I, I switched, I messed that up at some point. <laughs> so what happens is that because it's so much narrower, there's not a lot that I can do with the lighting in the background, but I still wanna have a super interesting background. So you can see like I already started clearing off one shelf right here. Uh, but the point is like you can't even really tell what the books even are and these books are all super important to me and I want the background of my videos to similar to a Peter McKinnon or a Casey Neistat or a Zach Ramelon like I want the background of my videos. Matt Diavella does a great job of this where the background is also a character, right? It's a character in the video. So what that means is that I'm going to need to do a better job of minimizing what's back there so it stands out a little more even though my 
fat head takes up most of the screen. So now you can see the lighting is getting a little bit better. I didn't do anything special. I just simply turned all the lights off. Um, there's still a little bit of ambient light coming from a window right there. I might cover that up. I might not. I kind of like it. Um, all I did was turn off all the lights and I put a lamp with no lampshade on it just right next to my face here. Kind of gives that like light on one side, dark on the other side, and I really like that look. So this is kind of step one as far as not even lighting the background, just how I'm lighting things. The shelves are cleared off and we're going to start adding things back in a little bit more thoughtfully as opposed to the hot mess that it was before. Again, I want all of the, everything back there to be intentional, so the lights are pretty cool. I'm going to play around with a couple different things. We'll see how those look. We'll also be a little bit more thoughtful on what books I have there because I want the books to matter. Even though you can't really see them, it's still important to me. We went to Target, we went to Menard, got some light, hand light. That's an old lampshade, doesn't matter. Just these little lights to go behind the... Uh... See how we're kind of building this here in the background here. I have this really cool, I'll show some close-ups uh, here of like the really cool like little it's actually a candle warmer um this is the four hour work week we got the some of my chuck Palahniuk books he's definitely my favorite author in the world all time maybe ryan holiday solid tie don't have any ryan holiday books oh i do actually have one let me let's let's add that i can't find my copy of obstacle is the way believe it or not like probably one of my favorite books of all time it's gone no idea where it is. did find some more chuck Palahniuk books Gonna keep filling this in here in the back here in a second, but what I really wanted to show you is just like how I'm putting this together. Hopefully it's helpful for you to see, again, like having something to say matters. Ah, 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 found it. I freaking, I freaking put it in focus for a night. Found it, so excited. I don't know, like you can't, can you even see? Can you even see what those are? Does it even matter? I don't know, but it, it matters. I don't even know if it matters. It matters so much, so much to me. Like, Obstacles Away is there now, All Over the Place by Geraldine DeRuiter is there now. Like, I'm so happy that, like, there's things in my background. If you recognize them, you're like, ah, I'm with Brendan. Like, we sit at the same lunch table. We're on the same team. Your background can have all of those kind of effects. I'm going to try one, one last thing to see if we can kick up the background a little bit more. And that is simply these, uh, these Christmas lights. It's basically like these mini lights. I'm going to put them up behind the books. See, I didn't even bother moving the rest of that. I'm going to put them up behind these books. I still got to put something on this bottom shelf here, but we'll, we'll figure that out in a second. I just want to see what happens when I backlight the books a little bit. So simply just putting some of those Christmas lights over there behind it makes all the difference. Now, like, let's look. Here's me. You can see it's a little bit more blurred out when I sit down and, like, focuses back on me. But I, I love, like, this little glow over here just makes me super happy. That's so great. Now I'm not, not so thrilled about this light anymore. Let's, let's see what we can do about that. So that's a little more intense, I guess. So here it's close, further away now. Now it's like super freaky, like there's a light bulb like right there. That's, that's uncomfortable and terrible. Maybe it looks great, I don't know, we'll see. Uh, I wanna try one thing. I bought some uh, gel filters. I've never played with these before. I changed the color of it a little bit. Let's see what happens when I try some different gel filters. Oh, wow, look at you. Very. Get down with your bed. And then so. look at the, can you come see the, I don't know, you can't see it. Hey. Hi, Daddy. Here, Hi. hello. What are we gonna do with those books What are you now? doing? I don't know what we're gonna do. <laughs> Now it's like a purpley light. Here, I might you blue as your favorite color. And now it's like more of a red light. All right, so Mustache Brendan back again. I hope this was super helpful for you. I hope that breaking down uh, Zach, I'm still gonna screw up his name, Zach Ramlin, Zach Ramelon. I call him Ramelon. Zach, help, help, please. Uh, Casey's, Peter's, Dave's, kind of uh, how he evolved in his backgrounds of his videos. I think he's a stellar like one of the best examples i'm glad to be able to share that with you because i know dave and i love him um and my evolution as well to kind of get to this and this is going to continue to evolve like i'm so excited to change these books right and see if anybody recognizes what books they are um i always look to the, my monitors like right over here so i'm like looking at that all the time it's a problem um so I want to be able to show you this evolution. I want to be able to have cool stuff in the background. And I, I just have something to say. You should always have something to say in everything that you do. And I'm going to keep harping on that. Every single part of your videos, even if they're poorly edited, they have bad audio like this one, like whatever, it's the message matters more than anything. And try to be super thoughtful in everything that you do. Again, 
make sure to subscribe. I'm gonna be making a lot more videos on digital marketing, videos, SEO. I'll probably even make stuff about how I quit my teaching job because there's a couple videos on my channel that are getting tons of traction about that. If that sounds like something you want, please subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up if it's been helpful. And if you decide to use any of the ideas from this video, please let me know in the comments below. I genuinely wanna hear what was helpful about this video for you. Until next time, I've been Brendan Hufford. Don't forget to work hard, be nice people, and don't get too lost trying to create something that matters. Oh hey, oh hey, real quick. Uh, I wanted to add something. So this video looks a little bit different than the behind the scenes stuff that I was doing, the making of, right? You can notice it's a different level of uh, what M Maddie and Peter McKinnon call that, that sweet, sweet bouquet uh, behind me. That's because this, what I'm filming on now is an 18 to 55 millimeter, I think. Let me, what, what does it say on it? Yeah, 18 to 55. It's the kit lens. It's what came with the camera. All right. And the, what I was filming on before was this 35 millimeter lens. It's fixed. It doesn't zoom in and out. I have to like move my camera and that gives me a different level of like how essentially how big I am in the screen uh, and also how blurred out the background is. I like this a little better because I fit a little better in the screen and also you can kind of see what some of these books are like everything back there like I said is, is really intentional. Anyways all my videos are, are edited in iMovie. Everything has been previously shot on except for one video shot on my iPhone like you can do this. This is just kit stuff. This is basic entry level technology. You don't have to be a master at any of this. You can do it with the basic stuff. I just want to inspire you to be able to do that in your own videos. So if you're like, hey, this looks good, just use the kit lens. If you want to upgrade, do the 35 millimeter and see what works best for you. I'm, I'm not going to do, I'm not going to do the outro again, but uh, right. Uh, oh, there we go.